Lawyer and activist Prashant Bhushan today refused the Supreme Court to reveal the names of the whistleblower who gave him access to details of a list of visitors to CBI chief Ranjit Sinha's home. The Apex Court had asked the senior lawyer to reveal the name of the whistleblower earlier this month. Mr. Bhushan's Center for Public Litigation in a statement cited that the information was received from a confidential and reliable source and CPIL needs to maintain the confidence and trust reposed in it by the source. It also said that the whistleblower's identity needs to be protected as his life may be at risk and that his or her identity can only be exposed at will. Furthermore, CPIL argued that the court had previously ordered investigations into several PILs without demanding the source of the documents. Mr. Bhushan has accused Ranjit Sinha of compromising investigations into some of the country's biggest financial scams by meeting the accused at home. I'd like to cut across at this point of time. My colleague Jaskirat Bawa has been tracking this case very closely. He's on the phone line with us. You know, Jaskirat, now what would be the aftermath of a declaration like that by Prashant Bhushan where he's refused to give out the name of the whistleblower? If you look at it precedent-wise, it's happened before, but how do you read the case now? Well, it's going to be very interesting. The Supreme Court, as per the rules, has asked Prashant Bhushan for the source of the document. Prashant Bhushan, in consultation with the members of the CPI, they have unanimously decided not to name the whistleblower, saying that it's going to be a breach of trust and faith. It remains to be seen whether the Supreme Court is going to buy into their argument because Prashant Bhushan and CPI in their affidavit have named certain cases like the Jain Hawala case, 2G case, even the Nira Radia case, where various documents and uh, information was taken on record, the source of which wasn't entirely put, uh, known uh, in the open domain or the public domain. For example, even the Nira Radia conversation, uh, this, the, the proceedings to figure out where the information leaks from is still going on, even though many investigations have taken place with regards to the finding of the conversation. Similarly, in this, they're using the same plea and trying to convince the Supreme Court to set aside and not prioritize the source of the document and focus on the findings of the document instead. All right, appreciate you joining us. Uh, just Kirat Singh, my colleague, tracking uh, the very latest on this case. Uh, Prashant Bhushan now refusing to give out uh, the name of the whistleblower. We'll keep tracking details on that story. Thank you, Just Kirat.